Hello, my name is Steven Ballast, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using an iPad and an app called Luminaire to control our stage lighting. Why would you want to use an iPad to control your lights? Well, there are two reasons I think this is a great solution. The Luminaire app, together with the iPad's touch screen, make for a user interface that's easy to learn and quick to program. Not only have I installed this in our main sanctuary, but I've also installed it in our children's area and high school room, and they both love its simplicity and ease of use over a conventional lighting console. Once it's set up and configured, you don't have to know much about the complexities of programming a console. It's just like using an app on your phone to control your lights. Another reason I think this is a good solution is that even factoring in the cost of an iPad and the app, it's still a lot cheaper than any lighting console that would provide this level of functionality. This approach definitely isn't for everyone. While Luminaire can control intelligent lights, if you are heavy into movers and are busking through songs and need to have your fingers on a lot of faders and knobs, or you need multiple cue stacks running, then this probably isn't the best approach for you. But if your service has 25, 50 cues, maybe a look for different sections, and a few different looks during songs, then Luminaire could be a really good approach for you. It works great with LEDs and color changers, and of course conventional dimmers. And I do have it controlling four movers in our children's space. Let's take a look at what it takes to set this up. The iPad needs the ability to talk DMX to your lighting gear. I'm using the Antec ODE, which basically takes Ethernet in one side, where your iPad is talking Artnet, and it outputs DMX through a standard 5-pin connector on the other side. Connect the ODE and your iPad together through a wireless access point, and connect the ODE to your DMX universe, and you're ready to go. It really is that simple of a setup. There are two parts to programming the Luminaire app. The first is setting up your environment, assigning dimmer channels and color controls to faders. All you need to do is add a new fader and then assign it a DMX address for the device or dimmer channel you want to control. This fader is now controlling the dimmer. Obviously, you can assign multiple channels to a single fader. The second part of programming is recording cues. All you need to do is create a cue, then set your faders for the look you want and you're done. You can create your next cue from the existing fader positions and then make any changes to that look. One thing to note is that when you select a cue, the faders update immediately when you make a change. You don't have to save the cue, just select another cue and move on. This makes updating a show like a Sunday morning service really fast. You can keep the same cues, just step through them and make any changes you want for that service. I hope some of you found this video useful. It's really a great lighting control solution that I've been using reliably for several years now. You can find a link to the Antec ODE device in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Okay, before I go, for any of you who actually watched this video through to the end, let me show you an advanced configuration I'm doing with this. I'm actually using two ODE devices, one which brings in Artnet from the iPad, and a second ODE that is essentially working backwards to take DMX from our old UTC Expression lighting console and turning that into Artnet. The first ODE has the ability to combine the two Artnet streams into one DMX output. It's set up as HTP or highest takes precedence. This lets me still use my old lighting console as a backup or for any events when I'm not around and my iPad isn't here, they still have a way to turn on the lights. Now that's really it. Until next time, bye. Hello, my name is Steven Ballast and in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to croak.